I moved into my New York City apartment back in January, which is about eight months ago. And when I moved in, it was small, drab, and dreary. Then I started to put my own personal touch on it, and it's completely changed. Welcome to my 250 square foot New York City apartment. As you'll see, it's a small space, but I really am happy with how I've decorated it and organized it and made it work. You know, it's just me living in this apartment, so it's just for one person. So even though 250 square feet isn't a lot of space, it really works for me. I decorated it in pink and green as sort of my, my theme colors. I really wanted it to feel like walking into a jewel box, something really pretty and precious, and the plants really help bring to life the, um, the color scheme and make it work. So this is my dining area, my dining room, <laughs> um, my dining table, and my favorite thing in the apartment is this tablecloth, and that's actually where I pulled the color scheme from. So it's from Peru. It's actually an um, indigenous craft work that my mother brought back from, from me when she visited Machu Picchu and Lima. And I think it's just stunning. And the brilliant colors make the whole apartment come together. These two wooden pieces are from Latvia. So they were gifts from my grandparents who bought them from Latvian refugees in Germany right after World War II, which is where my grandparents met. And I just love those pieces, and I think they make my dining room work. This kimono I'm using as sort of a table runner tablecloth. It was a gift from my co-workers when I, from when I lived in Japan and taught, and I just love it. And so this is the living area. This zone of the apartment is the living room. I think that these flowers, they're fake flowers, and I bought them from the flower district in New York City, and I think that they really, they're so beautifully colored, I think they make the whole color scheme come together. Now this armchair I got from Overstock.com, and it is the most comfortable thing I've ever sat on in my life. It's a recliner, and I'm there most of the time when I'm at home. The little sofa is for two people, uh, you know, it fits two people if you don't mind sitting side by side. Um, it's small, but I got it from Amazon, and it, I really like how it looks. It's high up off the floor, so I can fit my suitcase underneath and use that area for storage. Um, I've got these little things that I made uh, from fabric that I got uh, this, from a store on 109th Street, and they just sort of tie the color scheme together. Most things in my apartment I really like to have meaning. Um, I really only like things that have a story behind them, like the tablecloth and the, and the wooden bowls. And I really only like to add them to my collection if they have some personal meaning to me. So that is the only closet in the apartment, and we'll come back to it. First, just peeking under the bed, this day bed I got from Amazon. It is wonderful. I added those bed risers to get extra space, and I've got like 15 inches of space underneath. There are no legs in the middle or anything, so it's just a huge amount of space underneath the bed that I use for my suitcases and boxes of off-season clothes and things like that. So it's a terrific amount of space, and I highly recommend you take advantage of it. Now this door I took off of the closet. <laughs> so that I could fit all of these things in my apartment because with the door opening and closing from the closet um, I couldn't fit the dresser plus the bookshelf plus the bed. So I think it really works. I still use this closet for my clothing. I've got a couple of uh, bins for um, things that don't get hung. And really this is all I need. It's actually more full now than it usually is since it's uh, late, f it's late September and there's more in there than there usually is. This is my entryway. I've sort of created the entryway with um, that shoe rack, which we'll look at in a second. Now this um, iguana above the door was a gift from a former boss of mine. It comes from the Maldive Islands, and it's just adorable. This male caddy is the greatest thing in the world. It's transparent, so it has no footprint visually, and I just love it. I use 3M hooks everywhere, like there for my umbrella. Um, I've got this shoe rack, which I love. As soon as I walk in the door, I put my purse down, my scarf, and my gloves in that little box. Um, there is no coat closet in this apartment, so I've turned this wall into a coat closet using 3M hooks. Um, I think it looks really cute, and it works. It's really functional, 
and I like this style of uh, coat hook. Um, it's they're sort of like plated fake silver, and it looks really nice. Now this is my kitchen, and this kitchen, believe it or not, was kind of one of the selling points of this apartment for me because for a New York City studio apartment, this is a pretty decent kitchen. Uh, size-wise. My last kitchen was bigger. It was its own room, unlike this alcove, but it had half as much counter space. Um, this one has a full-size stove, an oven, refrigerator, plenty of cabinet space for me. And then I've turned my these walls into ca open air cabinets as well. So I've hung the pots I use the most frequently, my apron, I've got my spice rack there, all hung on 3M hooks. I think they look pretty good and they save room in the cabinets. I even had this space above the cabinets, which I use for more books. And then this last door is to the bathroom, of course. Just turn the light on and so that we can have a look. Now, for a New York City bathroom, this is quite typical. It's not tiny. It's not um, huge, obviously. And it's plenty for me. So I've got this rack above the um, toilet that I use for all of the stor my storage needs. I've got my little soap and Williams-Sonoma lotion, which just smell amazing. And it's quite straightforward. That's all I need. And that is my complete 250 square foot apartment. I pay $1,250 rent in East Harlem for this apartment. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now the one thing that's left are these bare walls and this empty space in the entryway. If you have any ideas for how I might decorate it, please stick it in the comments. And thanks for watching.